Right, welcome here to the Accident Investigator and today we're going to have a look at an R44 that ran out of lateral control but that was during a game operation so let's have a closer look. Well here you can just see I've uh, got a picture here of the aircraft itself Robinson 44 and what happened is that they actually moved this buck and it's called a Bonto buck. you only get it down here in South Africa and um, this buck they put on the right hand skid of the helicopter so l let's see how this happened all right so as we're going through this there were three people on board and let me show you exactly where they were sitting and you will see the pilot is sitting there and left to it uh, there was i think it must have been the owner of the farm and the veterinarian here and here we've got the buck on the side and they had to move the buck. Um, the reasons why, uh, well, obviously they needed to move it from one camp to another camp. Now, the helicopter, it was proven afterwards that the helicopter was actually within uh, the weight limitations. But the fore-aft uh, balancing of the aircraft, that's always what we worried about. But in this case, the fore-aft was not a problem, but the lateral center of gravity made uh, or at least posed to be a problem. So just very quickly here you will get the left front weight, right front weight, you've got the pilot in the back here and this is his weight there and then you've got the animal on the right hand skid as I've said and just a quick point to show out that remember that your cyclic limitations uh, that's based on the amount of lateral CFG that you can handle. Now you can see here that at three inches of CFG to the right you reach the stop and when you've measured what this gentleman had on the skid and everywhere you can see that it ended up with a lateral center of gravity of 5.2 and now you know that when you take off the air helicopter is going to drift to the right right so let's have a look at that now before get into what went wrong Let's see at, uh, and I call it here the normal method, but for, now remember this is not normal, all right? It's not advertised anymore, I'm not advertising to do this, but I know that once you do rescue operation, you do run into a lateral CFG problem, this is the way that they would fly it under those circumstances. So let's have a look here. First of all, you must apply maximum power in one continuous movement with a uh, collective pitch. So there is enough power in the helicopter. She's not overweight. One movement right to the top and then that's not just a possibility of running out of, of left cyclic. Um, <laughs> the cyclic is going to go all the way to the left and eventually there's going to be no more left cyclic uh, because the center of gravity is so far out and now the helicopter is going to start to drift towards the right. Okay, so that's going to happen and then as the airspeed increases, now you must just in your minds, I think that as the helicopter starts, it's turning into wind. Let me use this hand. It's easier as a drift. It will get into wind. And then because of that, there will be longitudinal stability. And you can actually fly the helicopter like that. <clears throat> For now moment, I'm saying that is what you should do. Please. Um, it's not advised. All right. But this is what the pilot attempted to do in this um, in this specific situation. So, so what went wrong? Well, he proceeded with the technique uh, and then he started drifting to the right. So right up to that point, uh, there's absolutely no problem. But there is one problem. The moment that you start drifting over the ground and the skid will touch anything in that, it's going to get a dynamic rollover. And that dynamic rollover is exactly what happened here. And I'm going to show you uh, a video, not of this helicopter, but of a different helicopter where you can see how devastating the dynamic, dynamic rollover can be. Well, here we can see something like this. You see uh, a demo, and there the right skid touches. And pull. look at the slow motion. It just needs to touch the ground, and there is the dynamic rollover. And touch, and now the pilot will try and counter, but there's no way, there's no time, and over she goes. Right, so welcome back. 
Now, what are the lessons that we can learn here? Because this is what we must take away. Well, the first one is always be aware that that lateral C of G is in existence. I think sometimes we forget that. And it doesn't matter the, the type of helicopter you fly. If the configuration has changed to such an extent, uh, there is a possibility of exceeding the lateral limits, and that means you're going to run out of cyclic control. The next one, um, we, we always are worried about... Uh, uh, the balance of the aircraft in a fore aft, in other words, to look at the pitch moment, but very little bit in the roll moment or in the lateral CFG. Then, I, this is a point I'm making to say, listen, guys, I know that you in this game you can have to make <laughs> on the spur. In other words, uh, right there as things develop, you're going to have to make a decision. And I'm not going to say that it's not. That is the real world that we operate in. Okay. So, this pilot has done that probably hundreds of times. Okay, but in this case, he needed to think a little bit more. And he needed desperately that height above the ground. And if you then take off and you cannot get cleared of the ground, put it down again. It's as easy as that. Extra thought. So, um, right? That will be it. See you in the next delivery.